host, Miss Ian Ellie here, and welcome back to the episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we got a bunch of stuff done, and we went item hunting for that jerk of a knight up there. And we're gonna go ahead and come over to this side to buy something from the shop really quickly. We're not gonna use this right away, but it's something that we'll need in just a couple minutes. Assuming that we actually get around to it in this episode, we want to buy a weapon. Yeah, I know, that's the first time in a while. Whoa, these things are expensive! Wow! Okay, so we want to buy a Silver Edge, and we're not going to use it on Carol. We just need it. Okay? Now, I, sh I sh probably should re-equip everyone with stuff, but oh well. We want to see what the synthesis is. Go all the way down to... Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Well, that was a little pointless, but, um, so we can synthesize that here. But I'm assuming we will be able to later. I'm, I'm kind of curious about these, though. Um, wow, that's a cool-looking sword. That is a very cool-looking sword. I want it. I really, really want that, but I I'm, like, I'm afraid that I'm going to get horrified again. Yeah, I just said horrified. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll put off actually equipping everyone for a little while. But I just needed that silver edge right now. So, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and leave town. I just wanted to grab that while we're still in, still in Arnian. And I might want to mention that if we come around here, um, what's his name? LeBlanc, I think it is, will actually be over here if Schwan, or Raven rather, actually had 100 skills. We do not have 100 skills. And I'm sorry, but I only have like 30 something skills. I am not going to grind up like 70 more skills in the course of like 10 minutes. It's just not happening. I don't have, I really, really do not have time to do that right now. So I'm putting that one off. I might do it eventually, but hey, no promises. That's just kind of nuts. And I know all you Tales of Vesperia veterans are going to be like, How do you not have close to 100 skills on Raven so far? To be fair, I haven't been using him very much, and I haven't really been paying attention to his um, synthesized weapons. So, yeah, that's just not happening. <laughs> anyway, the place that we need, need to go to is Karabakram, which I have no idea where that is, so I'm going to take a look at the map. I don't think I've even shown the map before, have I? This is what the map looks like. And here we go, Karabakram is all the way up there by Heliord. So, bring up this map, go all the way up there, I see it on the map now, so that is A-OK -okay with me. Just fly all the way up there. But yeah, cut me some slack, I, I, I really, really, really don't want to do that right now. <laughs> that would be a lot of work. Anyway, here we go. Karabakram. It's been a long time since we've actually been here. We're going to finish up one of our side quests. And it's going to be one doozy of a side quest that we finish up, too. What we want to do is turn right and enter the first house that we run into, run into. Hey, I actually dodged that. Dodge Masta. Ever since we lost Barbos, we've been absolutely pathetic. What's more, the Blood Alliance got tossed out of the Five Master Guilds! If the boss hadn't sold this city to Alexei, we would have had a strong guild presence with a respectable base stronghold here. Thanks to Aleste, Alexei's damn Blastia experience, I experiments, we're stuck in these wretched ruins. At last, we at least we got one good piece of booty, that damn Dragon Rider Spear. Oh, timing! I hear that spear is pretty famous. The old man at the smithy said so. What was that about a spear? Who dares set foot inside our hideout? Wait, aren't you Barbos' that spear? Wait, these kids, they're the little punks that beat the boss at Gosfrost. What if we haven't done anything wrong? Everything we did, it was on a it was on a boss's orders. Crap, let's get out of here. Leave that spear. But why? That belongs to one of our members. We can't let you have it. You two. Hell no, that spear is our... What's that? You're ready to fight to defend it, huh? Ha ha! Man, 
man, it's nice to be feared, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Really? You're giving this to me? This is the spear that destroyed all that Blastia, you know. It's important to you, right? Weren't you looking for it? This is the spear of my oath. The oath that no matter how hard I got, even if no one understood or wanted to help, I would continue in my quest with Ba'ul. I swore on this spear, a symbol of the bond between Ba'ul and me. Wow, so it's really important to you. And you were just going to give up on getting it back? Thanks to you all, I've learned that you can have a bond with someone without any physical objects to back it up. But Judith, you should never have to forget your feeling, forget feelings that are important to you. You can't just give up on them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. I was just running my mouth, that's all. Really, thank you. And we finally have attained Brionac. I Brionac, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Again with the pronunciations. But yes, this is the end to one of the longest side quests in this game. We started this all the way back at the beginning. At well, not really the begin. And no, yeah, the beginning of Gosfrost. Jeez, how many episodes was that ago? I mean, that was a long, long time ago. So, we have her ultimate spear. Let's go ahead and see what it's like. 1,314 1, physical attack. That's nice. A divine spear that brings victory to its owner. There is nothing that this spear cannot pierce. I think she really, really deserves to use this. And I think we really do too. Because we spent how long on hunting this down? And this is probably the most picky side quest in this game. You mess up one thing, you miss one cutscene, and you're not getting this spear. Ever. <laughs> anyway, come out here. We want to be heading over to another town. Town, town, town. Hey, Dodge Mesta. I feel awesome. <laughs> anyway, return to field map. Now, the next place that we want to go to is if we can hop into Baul. Yes, please. Thank you. And the next place that we want to go to is Zophius, which we were at quite recently, so I can't really say, hey, it's been a long time since we've been there, ho, 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 like I seem to say for every single place that we go to. But yeah, let's go ahead and make a stop over here. Come on, climb down. Thank you. Come over here. We're starting off in the lower corridor. I probably could have started somewhere else, but I don't care. I think there's like an exit right where we need to be. But let's just head up here. We can just go around a little bit. Hey, doggy. I don't know why I stopped to t talk to that dog. I really don't. Looks like she should be able to go into that door right there. Anyway, head all the way up here. Turn the corner. And we should be at the place that we need to be. And wow, the sky is really purple here. <laughs> Now, if we wander around this center area, we should come along a scene. Here we go. Look, it's Loon. This is that guy's um, sister, the one, the one that died, the one that that one dude killed. I forget his name. What was his name? The guy that we got the Dark Avenger costume from. She's smiling. She can smile because she has people who will smile with her. She's such a strong person. Well, considering her brother died, it's up to us to make sure nothing happens to those smiling faces. Right on, kid. Come on, we've got work to do. Well, that was simple. So yeah, that was basically to wrap up that whole Dark Avenger thing. We didn't get anything for it, but hey. Anyway, that's all we really need to do here. But, but, if we were actually paying attention to the dog map, which I'll show you in just a moment, We'd be able, actually, we'd be able to go to the tavern near here, or I'm not actually sure where the tavern is, but it's somewhere. And there would be a dog right next to it that we can talk to to finish that quest up. So, yes, we can finish the marking map um, side quest here. You remember, wherever P to P is on everything. But, needless to say, not, not there. Check this out. Yeah, that we are not ready for this. I have not been paying attention to the marking map at all. Granted, we don't really get much for it, as far as I'm aware. Um, so I don't know if I'm actually going to shoot for that. But we 
can do it. I, I, I'm just like overwhelmed at looking at that. I'm like, I don't want to off screen all that. But just to let you guys know, if you want to go for this, you can. All you have to do is carry around a bunch of mats, which I think I'm going to go and get right now. So you just buy a bunch of maps and sleep all over the world. And that's how you have repeat to pee on things. I don't know, I guess he pees on it overnight or something. That's a great thought. So we're gonna go ahead and buy like, I don't know, there you go, that many mats. That many simple tents, and I'm too cheap to buy those tent those um actual tents. Okay, so magic lens, there we go, and I'm done. So now we should be able to do a little bit more with the marking map. Like I said, no promises because eh. I just don't care. <laughs> and that was kind of weird how I said that. I was just like, yeah. Anyway, now that we're done with here, we're going to head outside and go to Mantix. So I'll see you guys there. Actually, I lied. We're going to stop off at Reloise Hollows first, which is, which is right over here. We have not gotten something that we actually need before we head off to Mantix, which we can get from a monster that is in the Reloise Hollows. But we need it to be windy here. Let, let's go into Reloy's Hollows to make sure it's actually windy in there. Okay, so we're in Reloy's Hollows. It is sunny. What we want to do is use a mat. I can't use a mat in here. Right, I forgot about that. So we need to go outside and make sure it's windy from Wakea. So go here. Use confirm items. Use a mat. Yes, please. Okay, now is it windy? No, it is not. I'm gonna keep on doing this until it turns windy. Because I really need it to be windy. What? I can't use a mat? Come on. Come on. I mean, do I have to get hurt before I can use this again? Dang it! Okay, fine. Fine. And it is finally windy in here. And I think this is actually the monster that we need to fight right here. Maybe. We'll see. I don't recognize it, and we do not have it in our thingy. This is a greater skunky. No, this is not what we needed, but I'll go ahead and show this anyway. Level 50, 18,900 HP. It actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, it's not what we need. So this is actually pretty pointless to fight for me right now. Because I'm looking for a specific item. Anyway, go ahead and end up going ahead and just killing this thing. Okay, there we go. Blade. And... Oh, I forgot about this. Right. Uh, Raven learned a new skill. No it's an altered lose. art. I think it's one of his spells that gives it. I'm not e entirely sure. Uh, but it's because I um, equipped a splash bow onto him. Remember I said that he can get a scene with poor LeBlanc? I'm going to see if I can actually get that. But no promises, just like the marking map. I I'm just seeing if I can actually get something. Because I know he has a few bows that... I haven't gotten all the skills off of. So, gonna be doing that for a while. I just love grinding stuff for the end game. Really. Anyway, heading in here now that it's windy, we need to find a certain monster. Please tell me that it's not too far away. Uh, is th I think it's actually this. Is this it? Fight like I'm Let's see. Die, huh? I don't recognize this. Spikadillo! Yes, it is! Okay, so this is what we need to be fighting here. We have Spikadillo, level 56, 32,000 HP. And just to make sure that we can actually get something, I'm gonna play as Heed. And there we go. I stole rubber skin. That's not what I need. I need Armadillo Spike. No item to steal. Okay, so that was pointless. Alright, gonna go with Yuri. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play as Raven and see what skill it was that gave us that one thing. Um, that, yeah, that made a lot of sense. No, it wasn't that. I'm just really curious right now. Is it this? Yes, it is! Okay, so, Arrivederci, um, I know I'm butchering that again, is what gives us this new altered art, which I just got cancelled in. Come on, leave me alone. I want to show this art again because it was actually really cool. I think Alexei actually used that, didn't he? I, I remember Alexei doing something along. No, it wasn't Alexei. I don't think it was. What should I call it? That that thing in uh, the Blazes of Fair. That one boss. I can't remember what it was called. 
My memory is just failing me left and right today. And he just learned another altered art, the growing world. Jeez. I really need to use Raven more and get more of his skills because I'm falling behind apparently. Well, there we go. Alright. So, now that we've done that, we need to head down here. I don't want to fight you. Fine! Alright, just gonna keep on moving along. Let's hopefully run into another spike of Dillo because I really, really need this to actually go. You know what? Holy bottle time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all those spikes because I'm really tired of doing this. We will actually, now that I think you. about it, there's one thing that I haven't shown yet that I said I would show. Let's go ahead and see Yuri's new skill since we're doing this and these things are decently strong. So, no, it was not that skill. Come on. Final Gale! Yeah. Wow, that was actually really cool! Check it out! That does a really decent amount of damage! Hey, I'm a happy camper with that! Very happy camper. Alright, let's go ahead and steal stuff. Come on. Thievery. Thievery. And repeats dead, right? At, right before she gets to heal me, of course. I'm just that awesome. Heal. Come on, thievery. Cancel the cooldown. Thievery. This thing is probably gonna die before. It's another rubber skin. I don't need rubber skin. I need that not that armadillo spike. Just give me one of your spikes. Another rubber skin. Is this a rare drop or something? Because if it is, that would suck. That would really, really suck. Okay, he's dead. Come on. Nothing? Absolutely nothing? Really? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, time to go hunt for some more. Okay. We finally have the freaking armadillo spike. So, now that we're done with that... I think I really need a break now, so in the next episode, we'll head over to Mantake to finish this up. So I will see you guys then. Masinella out.